It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, March 23rd. I'm James Spann. All the attention will be focused on the severe weather threat tomorrow. And then we'll have a chance to rain again Easter Sunday. Many questions about that, so let's just go right to it. Let's dive in with both feet. There's the water vapor satellite view, big trough in the western states producing a blizzard at Denver today here on March 23rd. But for us, uh, some clouds around, but the uh, day's been dry as expected. Temperatures are around 70 in most spots. Uh, Birmingham, 69. Pretty much the same tomorrow. We'll uh, see highs up in the low 70s. But look at the cold air spilling in behind the storm. Again, uh, Denver, Goodland, Kansas, western Nebraska. They've got whiteout conditions and very heavy snow there. Got a blizzard warning in effect for the area from Denver north and east. Winter storm warnings up to uh, parts of southern Minnesota and to Wisconsin and Michigan. High wind warnings for parts of the southern plains. And a chance of severe weather this afternoon and tonight. Got the standard slight risk from near Waco, Texas, up to St. Louis and Omaha. A marginal risk deeper into Texas, almost up to Chicago. And tomorrow, we got the standard slight risk of severe weather for about the northern two-thirds of the state. A marginal risk down to the Gulf Coast. And as far north, almost as Cleveland, in our state, the uh, slight risk includes areas north of a line from near Thomasville to Georgiana to Troy and Eufaula. And again, the marginal risk all the way down to the Gulf Coast. We'll talk much more about this here in just a bit. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning. This obviously counts the rain tomorrow and the rain we see Sunday. Rain amounts around two inches in many spots uh, during those two days. So here we go, model fans, the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock local time. There's your trough approaching, good dynamic support. The surface low pretty far north, north of Indianapolis, 995 millibars and slowly filling. Big snows on the north side of that with a, tr with a trailing band of showers and storms. Guidance coming in a little slower on the morning runs. In fact, this is 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. And at that point, a broken band of storms will likely be in progress from near Huntsville down to Tuscaloosa. So we've adjusted for a little slower timing with this event. And again, we'll give you the timing graphic here in just a moment. But again, notice that it's not really a solid line if this works out. It's more cellular in nature, and that certainly opens up the door for some tornado mischief. The instability values are clearly higher. That's one thing about uh, the delay in the storms. The air will have more time to destabilize. In fact, now the high-res NAM showing the uh, 1,000 Cape values all the way up into southern Tennessee. And again, that's not overwhelming, but it's certainly sufficient for severe weather. Low-level jet in excess of 50 knots. Some of the storms could easily produce damaging straight-line winds. SRH, storm relative helicity values in the lowest one kilometer, very high. As you can see there, again, uh, from Huntsville down to Tuscaloosa and points uh, uh, east at that time. And the STP, those numbers are pretty high. In fact, they're approaching four units around Birmingham. So uh, I would say concern for tornado activity is increasing a bit based on the new guidance. And this is the timing graphic that we're uh, using West Alabama, the main window, 1 to 7. Central Alabama, the I-65 corridor, 3 to 9. East Alabama, the window, 5 to 11. And, of course, that's an approximate guideline. But, obviously, you want to be in a position to hear warnings. And we know that if you watch these videos, you are. But be sure and pass the word along to those that probably are not. All right, Friday, we are dry and cooler. Uh the numbers have been coming up a little bit. Uh, you know, at one point, it looked like we might get down in the 30s Friday morning. Latest guidance coming in with mid-40s, so uh, the chance of frost is fading. And the high Friday should be in the 60s. And this is Saturday as the Easter weekend begins. should be a very nice day. A good supply of sunshine with mid-70s. Very nice. Now, Easter Sunday, all of a sudden, this GFS run, not as wet as other runs we have seen, suggesting maybe the better chance of rain over south and east Alabama without much at all for the western side of the state. But the European still looks wet statewide, and we'll side with that. We, we, uh, we're going to mention a good chance of rain at times on Sunday, possibly a thunderstorm. We don't expect any severe weather. Uh, for those planning an Easter sunrise service, there is a chance the rain comes in uh, well beyond that. We can't guarantee that, though. Rain probably starting mid to late morning Sunday and a wet afternoon Sunday. 
And then Monday, it's all gone. You know, the GFS has just been all over the board with this. You know, this morning it showed a severe weather look. Now it shows dry air, and that's what we've been forecasting all along, which is the European solution. Uh, Monday should be sunny with a high back in the 60s, and this is Tuesday. We're still dry and pleasant, the high close to 70. And a week from today, Wednesday, March 30th, new trough to the west. Now the surface slow over the Dakotas. Moisture starts to increase. That might be a severe weather day for areas north and west of the state. And this is the following day, Thursday, March 31st. And that could very well be a severe weather day for us. And, of course, there's no way to resolve specifics eight days in advance, but just be aware of that. This is the end of the forecast. Ooh, look at that big vortex over eastern Canada. We've said over and over and over, way too early to plant. And that sure looks kind of cold and uh, some chilly air could drop down in here. Uh, at some point during that first week of uh, April, that's uh, April 2nd there, and that looks cool and dry. Temperatures below average, much of the central U.S. This is March 31st through April 6th. And the numbers coming off the ensemble, not really showing much in the way of cold air. But again, don't be shocked if those numbers around April 3rd, April 4th go lower, maybe getting down in the 30s in coming days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.